Hey guys, hope you are doing good. So in this video, we will be looking how you can install Kubernetes on MacBook Pro. So let's start. Let me clear my terminal first. So to install Kubernetes on MacBook Pro, I will be uh, installing Minikube on Mac. So just go to Google and type install Minikube on Mac and you will be able to see this first site and go to Minikube. Okay, so what is Minikube? Minikube is basically a local Kubernetes. So let's suppose you don't want to run your Kubernetes cluster on Amazon or you don't want to run your Kubernetes cluster on Azure or GCP because it usually comes with a charge. You have to pay for the uh, nodes that you are using. Okay, so in that case, what you can do on your own laptop, you can just set up your local Kubernetes. So that is uh, with the help of Minikube. So there are some prerequisites. Let us look at that. You need to have two virtual CPUs at least or more, 2 GB of free memory, 20 GB of free disk space, internet connection, and a container like Docker, Hyperkey. So these are the container or virtual machine managers that you need to have in your system before you start installing Minikube. So I qualify all the criteria. So let me proceed with the installation. So my OS is Mac. Architecture is fine, release type stable, binary download, or we can do with homebrew. You can go with any of one, binary download, or if you have homebrew installed, you can go with that. Do you install Minikube, copy and paste. So it will start installing Minikube in my own system. It will take some time and then you can look for the further steps if which minikube fails after installation via brew you may have to remove the old minikube links and link them i don't have any old minikube so you just need to uh, run the above command and then you can simply start the minikube cluster so this is a simple way one of the simplest way to launch kubernetes into your own system and do your own stuff okay now let us run minikube start Okay, exiting due to DRV Docker, found Docker, but the Docker service isn't running. Okay, let me start Docker then. So Docker needs to be in a running state before you start Minikube. And then rest all things you don't have to do. will take some time to start docker on my system okay finally docker is starting docker engine starting Let us run the command again, minikube start. So you can see it is doing a couple of things. Automatically selected the Docker driver since Docker is started. Starting control plane, minikube in cluster and pulling base image, downloading Kubernetes. It will take some time. Let me pause this video till then. So guys, Minikube cluster is ready. Let me clear my screen and show you Minikube version. <clears throat> so it is showing Minikube version 1.25.2. So that means Minikube is running in our system. And let me do a cube cuttle. <clears throat> no resources. Actually, there are no resources deployed. Let me do namespace. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> cube CTL get namespace. So, as you can see, it is showing the four default namespace default cube, node, radius, cube, public, and cube system. So, our Kubernetes is deployed. 
make sure like if you need to uh, uh, query these resources inside a cluster, you need to have kubectl installed. So again, for installing kubectl, you can again go to install kubectl on Mac. Similarly, go to Google and click the first link and you can simply install with using curl command or I think only curl command is mentioned in this document. Yeah, homebrew also, using homebrew also, you can install kubectl. So that is a similar way. So you can install kubectl and start querying resources on Kubernetes. So once it is done, all these things are done, you can like start deploying your uh, resources on your Kubernetes cluster and start playing with that. So I hope you guys must have liked this video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.